okay with it. We'll get there in a moment. contact trace. Then they're going to tell you you have to take the vaccine. And because Canadians like to do what they're told, they're hoping that everyone just complies. And then guess what, kids? Once you take your vaccine, like a dumb person that doesn't know any better, they're going to tell you, sorry, the vaccine isn't as effective as we thought it was going to be. So now you still got to wear your mask, still got to get contact trace, still have all the restrictions and social distancing, and still take your vaccine. And then what did you get out of all of this? You got a whole year where you weren't allowed to travel, your business was closed, they took your rights and freedoms, they forced a vaccine on you, and what happened? The same amount of people died, everything is the exact same, and now they're going to put you back on lockdown and bring it all the way till July of next year so they can do the same thing again. Bring you from July, August, and September, getting you off lockdown, but just to bring you back on lockdown again. If you idiots haven't figured it out yet, it's a perpetual cycle that you never get out of. Dr. Martin Luther King, and please allow me to say how proud I am of the almost 25,000 National Guardsmen who have come in from all 50 states and territories to help support the Secret Service and the police departments that, with a peaceful transition of military power. Good morning, sir. Good boy. And so, folks, we have the election and the inauguration of Petitant Joe Biden. You can't really call him president. It was all invalid, unlawful, fraudulent. And we have this senile old pedophile now sworn in as president of the United States. His first action was to sign 17 executive orders to roll back a whole bunch of stuff Trump had done and basically lead the United States into a communist state. At least we're not in communism. We've just witnessed the fall of the Republic, folks. And every military officer there, I mean, just the amount of military that was there in D.C., it was like 30,000 troops or something at the end. More troops than the United what? States deployed so to Afghanistan, Somalia and Syria combined were deployed in Washington, D.C. for an inauguration that nobody really came to. Hi, Brian. Nobody really went to because there was the whole lockdown happening. I think half of the lockdown, half of the military presence was to hide the fact that there just wasn't going to be anyone at the inauguration anyway because nobody voted for this guy. Well, friends, there were no massive arrests today. Looks like we will have to clean this mess up ourselves, and we will, by the way. Don't think for a second that America has folded, America's given up. No, we just beginning to bring this fight. Engage the meme wars of 2021, my friends. It will be awesome. And we can go ahead and start with this right here. Uh, Joe Biden being inaugurated in Washington, D.C. Not a single person over here. <laughs> this is the, the, the imagery coming out of this inauguration is stunning, but it's right on par for a dude who couldn't get four people out to a field to see him, for a dude who couldn't get 80 people to watch his live stream. And by the way, this live stream over here, even though it was broadcast into every single public school, airport, and laundromat, I imagine, at this point, they still got about 30,000 views. 30,000 views. Donald Trump's outgoing message in Florida, 90,000 consecutive watchers. The dude's triple, triple scoops better than this potato Biden over here. And uh, 
going to question any of that lefties? They're the most popular president of all time again. Super duper for serial. 80 plus million legitimate votes. Uh, not a single person watching this and nobody down there. But with that amount of metal cherry on the ground in the United States, the reality is that every single military person Oops. committed treason Didn't mean today. to do that. Every single person who stood by and allowed this fraudulently elected pedophile, this senile old fool who can't even string a sentence together, and allowed him to enter the White House, committed treason against their country today. That's the reality of the situation, folks. Pedident Joe Biden. And it was a total Hunger Games type ceremony. Did you notice that? Do you notice all the clashing colours that people had? Purples and reds and greens. And... Remember the way they were dressed in the Hunger Games and you had everything locked down the way it is in the Hunger Games? You even had Lady Gaga there with a dove on her shoulder, a golden dove looking suspiciously like the Mockingjay in the Hunger Games. Look at what they're moving us into, folks. The whole smart grid, everything being rolled out. Biden will likely mandate masks. 2021 is going to be a crucial year, ladies and gentlemen. Even the World Economic Forum, Klaus Schwab, the, uh, the Davros, uh, the Davos meeting or something, Carl Schwab is talking about how 2021 is going to be a pivotal year. Good morning and uh, good afternoon. 2021 will be a crucial, it will be a pivotal year for the future of humankind. It will be crucial because we have to continue to fight the virus, but we have to move out of the pandemic and we have to create sound economic growth, which is more resilient, more inclusive, and more sustainable. But what we have to do above all is to restore trust in our world. Trust is needed in order to overcome the crisis, but trust is needed as a base to have a future-oriented mind and to construct the world for tomorrow. We have to substantially reinforce global cooperation again. And second, we have to engage all stakeholders into the solution of the problems we face. And here, we have to engage particularly business. For this reason, I'm so happy to say oh, that no like so in the previous year, the global leadership from all walks of life is coming together <laughs> in the forthcoming Davos Agenda Week. <laughs> global cooperation, how can we create a multilateral system which is more inclusive, which is adapted to the needs of the 21st century? I would call it the multilateral system 4.0. They really just basically put all the dominoes in place in 2020 and 2021 is going to be where it all happens. The size of these baby peacocks, you know, folks. They're getting quite big, these little birds. And they're pretty. But yeah, it's the full, Whoop. it's the full Hunger Games society Sorry. they're moving us into. They're even talking about the leftists are now talking about compiling lists of Trump supporters because these may be seen as being radical. See, this is now they're they're outlawing a particular ideology. If you think any way outside the Democratic Party, the way the Democratic Party thinks. You are a potential terrorist. And this is all riding off the back of the attack on the, the Capitol building, which was so contrived. Hey! Fucking hey, man. 
Glad to see you guys. You guys are fucking patriots. Look at this guy. He's got covered in blood. God bless you. You good, sir? You need medical attention? I'm good. Thank you. All right. I got shot in the face. Where are you? I got shot in the face with some kind of plastic bullet. Any chance I can get you guys yeah. to leave the Senate wing? We will. I, I've been making sure I ain't disrespecting the place. Okay, just want to let you guys know, this is like the <laughs> sacredest place. I know, I know, hey. You know, it, it couldn't have happened if Trump hadn't have called for the march on Washington. And as I've said before, you can't tell me he didn't know that they were going to co-opt it and smash windows and do all the things they did, of course. That provided the excuse to bring the military in. That provided the excuse to bring in the martial law situation that they're bringing in now. And everyone expected it because Q had told them that there's going to be martial law. Hello. How are you going? You're very friendly, aren't you? Little bird just to you folks. Look at this. Oop. It was just right up here then. These little birds are quite friendly. These little baby ones. And just right here. They get nervous when I poke the stick at them. But anyway, none of this could have happened. None of this could have happened if Trump hadn't called for the march on Washington. That provided the excuse for the military to come in. And then Trump just did his closing speech, said all about all the great things he'd done and off to Mar-a-Lago to live out his life there. The whole thing's been a setup, folks. You can't trust any politicians. And what they've done in Washington is they've done a dry run. They've done a practice for what they're going to do in the rest of the country. How they're going to roll the military out, put all these barricades in place, lock the place down. They didn't assassinate Biden. I don't think he'll last long, though. I mean, Biden's not set to be the president. Kamala Harris is set to be the president. That's how they're going to run it. Harris. And she's brutal. I mean, she's just brutal. Have a look at her history as a judge. And she's brutal. Harris. But this whole thing's been a dry run. This is what they're going to do to the rest of the country. Biden will mandate masks. They're going to roll out the vaccine. This is what they did in China as well. See, the Q movement has kept everybody docile. You know, there was a, a, an operation. Now, I've often said, you know, if you really want to look at what's happening to the world, think of Bolshevism. There was an operation in Russia in the 1920s called Operation Trust, where the communist takeover, they basically set up a false resistance. They got people believing that there was this secret group working behind the scenes that were going to bring down the government in the last minute and everybody was going to be saved. And it was done to basically appease the patriots and get them to sit on their asses for four years and do nothing. It ran for, it ran from 19, it was six years, I think. It ran from 1920 to 1926, called Operation Trust. And I said, back in the beginning, I said, Trump and Q is a, is a patriot appeasement program and trust the plan. The plan is to keep you sitting on your asses doing nothing for the next four years while they roll out all this smart infrastructure and lead you into this prison state they want to lead you into. This is what I said four years ago. And what they've done with Q is a, a mirror image of what they did with Operation Trust in Russia in the 1920s. Yeah, they've man. set it all up for a communist takeover. Now, when you look at the whole the talk that's going around that the Corporation of the United States was dissolved, it would appear that that's actually true. And the same thing appears to have happened in the UK as well. The UK government was dissolved. You know, the, the corporate UK government was dissolved, I think, in that's September. And it, it, lasted, it was a two-month period or something. I think it, it came to be in December last year that the UK corporation itself, the, the UK government, whatever, limited, um, whatever it's called, was dissolved last year. There was a report that came out on a channel called Observation Deck on YouTube. Uh, I can't remember the guy's name. Probably I was actually on, I had a chat to him once. He's a, he's a good researcher. He's a nice guy. And um, I'm sorry, I can't remember your name, brother. But um, he did a good 
report, I'll see if I can find it and put a link below, of the UK government being dissolved. And this would explain why the Queen hasn't been seen for ages, why they took the insignia down from Buckingham Palace. But what it actually means is that when the corporation is dissolved, it's basically just open channels, it's just open stock, and it's it's just, it's, it's now free land, free property for anybody to basically claim. So it appears that what's happening is this whole Chinese social credit system is rolling out, and people will think it's China. It's not really China, it's the bankers. The bankers run the whole thing. The bankers run China the same as they run the United States, the same as they run the UK and Australia and Canada and everywhere else. It's all one system. Canada. The Chinese social crediting system is what they've been incubating in China. That's what they want to use for the rest of the world, but it isn't China per se taking over the world. It's this communist socialist system that they want to take over the world. And it's all about control. There's control of every aspect of everybody's lives, which is what all this vaccination is about, because it isn't a vaccination. It's an operating system. And Moderna admits that it's an operating system that they want to inject into you. The amount of adverse reactions have been phenomenal as well. There's actually a map you can see. I'll, I'll put a link below. There's a map you can go and look at to show you all of the adverse reactions all around the world, what countries these adverse reactions are happening in. These birds are very friendly today, folks. Sorry, I keep getting Hello. sidetracked by the wildlife. Go. But, um, yeah, there's a map Where? that shows you where all these adverse reactions are happening. And this is where they're leading us. It's, it's not going to go away. This is what all the FEMA camps have been about as well. They've got a new decree, I believe, in Germany where they're going to be putting people who are protesting the lockdown into prison camps now. They're also telling people in Germany, and this soon will come to everywhere else in the Western world and probably the entire planet, they're saying, well, if you violate any of the COVID restrictions, and remember, these would still likely apply even if you're vaccinated, we're going to throw you in a camp for dissidents. Detention centers, literal camps. Never heard of that. And you thought those refugee camps were for the migrant uh, crisis back in 2015 were for the migrants? No, no, no. They were for you, Germans. Well, they cleared all the prisons out, folks, so they could put all the people who don't want to move into this socialist state into the prison camps. They're also going to be phasing out petrol vehicles. I saw an interesting Good article. Thing, I've been What's prison. it called? What does the. <laughs> 2030 petrol and diesel car ban I mean for you. When they get there. <laughs> and they're trying to present it in a good way, you know, like yeah. you're going to have these new environmentally friendly electric cars. The topic is colours. Orange. What it's going to mean for you folks is that you have no independence. You're going to be stuck to a city situation. You're, only going, to, you're going to have to have special permits to get diesel or petrol only for farming operations or whatever. You can imagine how they'll run it. By then, they've probably taken control of all the farms like Bill Gates is doing in the United States. That's what it means for you folks is that you'll be constrained to only travelling within city limits and on city roads and where these electric car charging stations are found. It's all about control. That's what everything they do is about. And that's what they're going to lead us into now that Biden is president. And the whole thing, as I said, folks, it's been a setup. 
It's been a patriot appeasement program from the start. None of this could have happened if Trump hadn't done the things that he did. He didn't keep any of his promises. He didn't drain the swamp. He just renamed it to government-protected wetlands. He surrounded himself with swamp dwellers. He set up the scenario for the martial law to come into Washington, and then he's just done a quiet retreat. And it looks like the Democrats have come in to save the world. I mean, this is how the media is portraying it. It's all a scam. The whole thing's a puppet show, and it's all been leading to this one point all along. You know, trust the plan. Yeah, that was the plan. The plan was to clamp down on everybody. They're going to be, oh, well, they already are, outlawing the feeding of homeless in Ontario as well, folks. Ontario, Canada. People out there feeding the homeless. No, this is not an essential service. So we can't let you feed the homeless. You want to pick up my 13 year old? Like, for real, this is her. No, really. I, I just want you to understand that I, I'm not here out of any sort of anger and whether I agree or disagree. No, I understand. I, I want you to understand this is how I speak because I, I have a vow. Oh, I'm not oh, hungry. No, 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 I'm telling you, Project Phoenix, you can go on their website. It is my daughter's initiative. She is 13 years old. It is her gig. I'm a volunteer. Every person here is a volunteer. I understand so, all of that. In this case, you want to ticket the organizer, correct? Everyone's getting a ticket. Nobody's allowed to be out of their homes right now. So every single person. Oh, I'm sorry. This is essential. So can I just get your name? This is essential, though. No, this is this is the emergency order that was put in place on. I'm not going to argue with you about it, but the emergency order that was. At least they were making a bit of a stand against it and letting them know that hey, actually this is an essential service. But all the people there received citations, all of them got fined, quite large amounts of money, I think, for being out there and feeding the homeless. I hope none of them pay the fines because none of them are lawful. All of this is based on a fraud. There's actually a great action that's been taken by Dolores Carhill. There's a great interview by James Corbett that you need to watch called Freedom Airways. Yeah, It's a really right. good initiative that Dolores Carhill is undertaking. Dolores Carhill is... She's the world, part of the World Freedom Alliance, I think it's called, and also the World Doctors Alliance. She's right out there on the front line, and she's taking all sorts of legal action I mean, against Jesus, the criminals that are running this scam. And what she wants to do with the Bad PCR you. test is she wants to do a sequencing on the PCR test because the PCR tests she sequenced have actually been shown to be testing positive for just influenza, not for SARS-CoV-19. So everything the government's doing is based on a fraud. It's all based on this PCR test, and she, she wants the test sequenced. She's doing some great stuff. And so is James Corbett. James Corbett is one of the people, he's really one of the only true journalists we have left on the earth, and he's doing a great job. And he is a true journalist. I mean, I'm not a journalist. I just come here and I give you my opinion on things. I give you my perspective. You know, I give you research as well, but, but James is a journalist and he does great work and the initiative that Dolores Carlyle is doing oh, that James journalist. interviewed her about is a fantastic initiative and I urge everybody to get involved with it because it's a it's a good pushback and it's something we can use to expose this fraud oh, for what that. it is <laughs> and hold these criminals accountable for what they're doing. <laughs> you know, we, even though they're setting all this stuff up, we, we don't have to move into it yet. You know, they're trying to push us into it, but we don't have to go along with it. And, uh, yeah, so I urge you to, to have a look at that interview. I'll put a link below. As I said, it's called Freedom Airways, and it's James Corbett interviewing Dolores Cahill. I should actually yeah. get in contact with her and see if I can have her on the show as well. There's another guy I want to interview, a guy called Chris from... He's got a channel called A Warrior Calls, and he's made contact with me, and I've been meaning yeah. to get back to him. Sorry, Chris, if I have been neglecting you. I haven't been meaning to. I've just had so much on. It's been ridiculous. But that's something that uh, you want to get into, folks. Have a look at that uh, Freedom Airways interview and uh, share it with people as well. I mean, it's it's a really good interview and it's a really good initiative. Because, you know, where they're taking us to, it's it's a pretty oh, freaky thanks. sort of a future, folks. Like I said, they've got prison camps happening in Germany now. 
um, feeding the homeless is outlawed in Ontario, Canada. You've got people like Alexandria, occasionally Cortez, calling for lists to be made of <laughs> Trump supporters. They're basically outlawing any type of free thought at all. It's a very, very dangerous future we're heading into, folks. But, you know, it's waking a lot of people up as well. A lot of people can see where we're going now. All the stuff we've been talking about for years, they're seeing that it's not a theory anymore. And I do feel sorry for all the Q-tubers and all the people that thought that there was a secret plan to save the world and that Trump was on their side. I mean, I was trying to quietly, gently tell them for months on end that it was a scan, they were being scanned. Oh, quietly, Chili. This was all just going to go the way they wanted it to go. <laughs> That's what it's always been about, that it was just a big patriot appeasement operation. And I do feel sorry for them. But, you know, that's the way they do it, folks. It was a PSYOP. Of course it was a PSYOP. How would it not be a PSYOP? Everything they do is a PSYOP. Hey, Brian, you're looking very dapper today, mate, without your big long tail. Lost all your long feathers. Mum and the kids sitting over there. Yeah, it's always been a psyop, folks. All these things are always psyops. That's just the way they run them, you know? So you've got to expect it, folks. It's just what they do. It's just what they do. But anyway, I'll leave it there for now. Just wanted to share a few thoughts with you. As I said, I don't expect Biden is going to last as president very long. I think what they just did in Washington was a big trial run for what they want to do everywhere else with all of the barriers and all the stuff that they did. And like I said, every single military station, the Navy, the Marines, the Army, everybody there, they all committed treason today by allowing this invalid pedophile to be sworn in as the President of the United States. freaky stuff and spend his first day writing executive orders like within the first couple of hours he's there writing 17 executive orders to roll back all sorts of stuff yeah interesting interesting yeah the military isn't on our side folks none of the politicians are on our side this, this whole system is bought and cops paid for cops aren't on your side and everybody who works within it is bought and paid the for the cops are not on your side all of the political parties are bought and paid for the bankers are running the whole show. They always I don't have been. Even think the... So it's time for us to create our own future that we Fire want. Fire departments on your side. And this initiative that Dolores Carlyle is doing is a is a great step towards that. Powerful woman. Really good to see her doing this. But we've all got to get involved. We've got to realise what we're facing here. We've got to realise that the governments are not our friends anymore. This whole forced vaccine thing they want to do, this whole pandemic has been a complete scam right from the beginning. Moderna is outlawed in And it's all about introducing this whole socialist, communist, totalitarianist, fascist, whatever you want to call it, system, the control system, the ultimate fascist. control system, imposing it upon the entire world under the guise of protecting us from a pandemic, which is a complete and utter fraud, a provable, quantifiable fraud. Now, you can push back in little ways simply by not wearing the masks. There was a case in England. There was someone who was denied entry to a store in England and they sued the store and they won and they got paid £7,000 in damages. So that has now set a legal precedent in the UK. And you can do the same here. They can't ask you what your exemption is. Simply tell them that you're exempt. Your exemption could be sanity. You know, I'm, I'm sane, so I don't wear really a mask. Actually, no, it freaks me out. I stress out. I get anxiety from wearing masks. That's all you have to say. You don't even have to say that. You don't have to tell them. But yeah, you can say, yeah, that's my that's my stress is that I get anxiety. Well, what's your anxiety? Well, I'm scared that the world is moving into a fascist state and all you people are delusional. 
I get anxious about it. <laughs> yeah, this guy's pretty good. So yeah, that's that's one pushback that everybody can do, folks. Refuse to wear the masks. Refuse to social distance. And if you have a business, Refuse open your it. business back up, folks. Gracious. That's what I've done in Italy. There's there's fifty thousand businesses that are refusing to stay closed. Right. Well, they're just saying no, and they've reopened <laughs> everything. They're just not doing it, and they're not paying the fines, and they're not doing what the government says. You know, if enough people do it, well, what can the government do? There's nothing they can do because actually they work for us. Well, we think they work for us anyway. They're supposed to work for us. They're actually all seem to be working for Klaus Schwab at the moment and Bill Gates. Bill Gates has remodeled himself into just about everything. There's actually a really good video by Really Graceful called Yay, really graceful. Why is Bill Gates buying up all the farmland? I'll put a link to it below. She's done really well. Check that one out. Yeah. Bill Gates has is, is modelled himself as so many things. It's amazing what you can do when you have enough money, isn't it? But anyway, folks, I'll leave it there for it now. so nice. Thank you for joining me on this report today. I'll bring you another one soon. And hold on because the ride's just about to begin. The fat lady may have That's sung in some ways did. as far as Q and Trump and all of that stuff goes, but, yeah, and the Republic may well have fallen, but the human race hasn't fallen yet, nice. and I think we've got a long way to go. I don't think we will. I think there's going to be a major pushback. I think a lot of people who it's thought Trump really was on their side good. and now see that it was all a play, they're going to wake up to themselves and they're going to want to push back. I think that's going to amount to something good. I really do. Yeah, Lady Liberty needs a rape kit. <laughs> so don't lose faith. Don't lose hope. There's something else I wanted to say then. It's just it came into my mind and slipped my mind. And she needs a crop top. But that's just I'll show you this too, folks. <laughs> something that I often do. I know it's going to give this a little bit of a plug because I like the company, but this is a thing called a caripe. I use this for shamanic snuff that I use sometimes. This being my favorite one. I use this sort of stuff quite often. It's something that I picked up from the jungle. It's a, it's a mopacha and ash snuff that decalcifies your pineal gland, cleans your brain, keeps you very grounded. It's something that I use quite often and I get my, it's called hape. It's spelled rape, but it's actually pronounced hape. And uh, I buy my chrape from a place called Katukina, which is a shop in Holland. So if you're someone out there who likes chrape and you enjoy these type of shamanic practices or you might want some plant medicines or a karipe or I get some really good vitamin C from them as well, actually called Lipasal or something. I'll, I'll mention it better on another show. Um, which is really, really amazing, a really amazing vitamin C supplement that you can get from Katakina as well. So it's something that I, I'll just give a bit of a plug for just because I like the company. I buy a lot of stuff from them and I recommend that if you are into any plant medicines or need any plant medicines or you like Hapa or anything like that, check out katakina.com. Tell them I sent you. Say Max Egan said to say hi. And, uh, yeah, just check them out. Just thought I'd mention that while I was trying to think of whatever it was that I wanted to say then, which I still can't think of. So I guess I'll just leave it there for now. And I will talk to you soon, folks. Please take very good care until we talk next time. Thank you to all the people who send me so many kind emails and so much information. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters. I know. Thank you to everybody out there on the front line. Hey, Brian, and I will look forward to speaking to you again soon. Please take very good care until then. In luck, Cash. Hi, Brian. Hey, Brian. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. 
As COVID-19 infections remain high at home and around the world, scientists have found that the virus is being spread not only by coughs, but also by people talking to each other. Studies show that consonants project the virus for much greater distances than vowels. That's true. And certain consonants, the so-called plosive sounds, plosives. are worst of all. Worst of all. You get on Each time, all time a person that. makes the sound p, t, or k, okay. they can project the virus up to three times further uh, than when they can't. use softer I mean, consonants, uh, such as f. That was a high school project that we found that out. <laughs> Based on this new evidence, the government is introducing new rules okay. in stages to make people's speech less dangerous yes. and slow the spread speech of COVID-19. I knew this was coming. Yeah. Announcing the new rules, Health Secretary Matt Hancock you can't said, say the word speech. during the first stage, or tier one, the consonant yeah. p will be banned and must always be replaced with the softer sound f. Yes. Anyone speaking to other people in a public place will have to stop speech. using the plosive sound. <laughs> Failure to do so could lead to a fine or even prison. <laughs> the whole population, <laughs> even <laughs> members of parliament, will all have to flay their fart in this. <laughs> After a period of a few weeks, we will move to tier two. Tier one rules will continue to apply. In addition, the sound t will be banned and must be replaced by the sound n. No. Although this may cause some initial confusion, uh, for example, Nietzsche's in schools will face challenges when Nietzsche the Nenheim's navel, we are confident <laughs> any problems will be temporary, and measures under near new will help learn the night of this pandemic. <laughs> After a further brief period, we will bring in near three. Near three? <laughs> the rules under Nier's one and new will continue, with the addition of the sound k being banned to be replaced by L. Oh. We have considered these measures carefully in line with recommendations from <laughs> professors at Lamebridge University. Lamebridge. <laughs> these new rules will apply not only to English, but also to other languages spoken in this country, <laughs> including Nerlish, Folish, Portuguese, and Italian. <laughs> I urge people to neep nam and narry on. <laughs> Together, we now conquer the COVID pandemic and return to normality in no time at all. <laughs> Thank you. Um. Yeah, you got it.